Hi folks, this is Double Crown and today we are at uh, Indie Park and we're going to do, uh, we're going to play chess uh, but uh, this is just not ordinary chess, we're actually going to cheat uh, we're going to use a program um, and now you might be wondering, well that's not very fair that's not very nice to cheat at chess but uh, uh, what I'm trying to show you is how to uh, uh, to know when you're being cheated at chess because chess is one of those games it's quite easy to cheat it's quite easy to use a program lots of people seem to do it and uh, that's what we're trying to uh, uh, kind of address here and uh, you will kind of know or when you're being cheated so we're going to sit at the table here and now uh, we're playing as white so um, I'm just going to wait for a player to join us. Maybe somebody will, maybe somebody won't. Okay, we're fortunate enough that somebody has uh, joined us. Now I've set my computer um, to uh, to play, and the first move is the king pawn um, up two pieces. So now you be, you begin to see how a computer plays versus a real player. It could be that he's a He's a computer himself, so right. The next move is the knight. Now, this is a fairly traditional opening. This is a kind of opening that I do myself. Um, I don't know the various names of the opening, but um, but we'll have a we'll have a look anyway. Okay. Right, this is an opportunity for me to test my mic as well because I've just bought a new mic and you should see uh, a difference in sound quality uh, hopefully it's better I I've no idea at this stage um, right next move is a castle now you begin to see how a, a computer plays versus uh, a real player now this guy I don't know how good he is I don't know if he's a program himself um, but uh, you can see what the my program's doing. It's developing quickly. Uh, it's trying to dominate the centre of the board. Um, that's all fairly normal strategy for uh, uh, any kind of decent player. So nothing unusual at this stage. Both the knights out early. Uh, typical development, really. Okay, my bishop comes out too. He has fianchettoed his bishop and uh, he's getting ready to castle now. So, uh, what's my PC going to do? Ah, oh, right, it's already moved. Didn't spot that. Bishop out. Now he seems to be pushing his pawns gradually forward. So it looks as though he's a genuine player because I don't think a PC would do that. So we're attacking a pawn here. But uh, it is protected. He's fianchettoed his other bishop now. Oops, the chat log's come up. Now, what am I doing? Right, pushing a pawn push. Right, he's got both his knights into the centre. And I continue with the pawn push. He moves his knight. Now he's attacking my central pawn. And gives me the chance to take. So I'm trying to break down his queen side here. Nothing unusual at this stage. Nothing here that screams out that I'm a, a PC. Uh, 
other than the fact that my development has been fast, uh, it's been pretty flawless. And uh, now I'm trying to break down the centre of the board. He still hasn't castled. He brings his queen into the centre now. And he's threatening... Uh, uh, if I move my knight away, it will be checkmate. What am I going to do? Okay, well, I can just attack the queen with the bishop. So he's thinking about it. That's kind of scuppered his, uh, his plans there. Easy enough. Nothing unusual at this stage. Okay, I'm going to drive his knight back with a pawn push. And uh, he, he retreats. So there's no real advantage. We're both even at this stage. Now, uh, what am I going to do? Okay, PC says move the rook out onto the king file. He does another pawn push. Okay, now the next move is suspicious because I basically move the knight back, blocking the rook. Um, now that's not the move I would have played, but the PC played it, so the PC knows better than me. So that was a suspicious move. Now I'm doing a further retreat. Again, these are beginning to be suspicious moves because I'm not pressing ahead at this stage. So basically, this is kind of pos positional play by the by the computer. Right, good move by him with the bishop. I've got no choice but to take. And of course, I've exposed my king now. But there's no imminent danger. Now, this is uh, the next move here. I get free pawn. I didn't see that, but the computer saw that. And he has takes my bishop. Which gives me a chance to straighten out my pawns and try and control the center again with the pawns. My king is a little bit exposed, but my queen can run to its defense. So it's beginning to look like a strong position for me. And you can see that the PC is doing its job. Now he's threatening a nasty check there with the queen. Um, what do I do about that? What do I do about that? There's a nasty check there. Now this is a suspicious, suspicious move again because I'm just ignoring that nasty check. The computer's confident that it can defend it. He takes rook, so rook for rook here, I imagine. Yeah. Now my rook's on an open file. He's got to check if he wants it. And he could start stripping my pawns. He hasn't bothered with the check, which is uh, unusual in itself. Now, again, a suspicious move. I've moved to the uh, side of the board rather than towards the middle. 
uh, maybe because there's not very good squares on the middle and I've got a nice open file again you know a computer move he moves his knight to the side again there's still threatening that nasty check now I bring my bishop back towards the center so all the time my PC is trying to dominate the center of the board yeah and this time he plays that nasty check that I was talking about but as I say I've got an easy defense there with a queen So he could play an exchange of queens here. I'm not sure what he's going to do. Well, he's retreated. And I'm going to continue with my central onslaught. So now you look. If you look at my position, I've got both both sides of the board, uh, the queen side and the king side. You know, I've got heavy pieces. I've got that rook on an open file, and I've got the queen going down the king side. So that's another suspicious aspect of my game, uh, because I'm, I'm I'm good on both sides of the board. Only a PC could have managed that. Now, here we go with a pawn push. The other pawn is protected with a queen with a queen. He's kind of forced to retreat, which he does. Now I'm going to play along the uh, open rook file. Protected by that bush bishop, you'll notice. He protects with the rook. I think I've just missed uh, missed a move here. Right, it's the queen, isn't it? The queen moves here. Now I'm attacking his rook. So you can see I'm attacking from both sides of the board, which is again quite suspicious of, uh, quite suspect. He's doing well against the PC, which makes me wonder whether he's a PC himself. You can see I blunted his bishop with the pawn line. I'm dominating the centre of the board with my two pieces there, whereas his uh, knight is uh, pushed to the side there. And it's his go, and uh, all you can think is a pawn push. Okay, now I've got a nice open file there for the for the uh, for the queen. This open diagonal there for the queen. Uh, which I, I now play. And now I'm, I'm not even concerned about the queen exchange here. Strong positional move. He attacks my queen. Will I go for the exchange? 
I do go for the exchange, which forces his rook back. Yeah, and that means I can take his pawn. So again, uh, you know, I'm, I'm up a few pieces here. Now he moves his uh, rook, attacking my bishop, uh, which I can easily defend with the pawn. So as you can see, in terms of space and position, I'm far, far superior here. And that's, which is what you'd expect of a, of a PC, really. You'd expect to be in a, in a, a very strong position. You can see positionally, uh, my placement is just so much better. And that's typical of a computer. What's he going to do next? Really, I'm just kind of trying to crush him now. And I can just put, put the squeeze on. So he tries to make some space for himself by uh, with a pawn push. And uh, now I uh, move my knight. Uh, I could end up doubling my pawns here because he's gone for the exchange. Uh, so that means I'm going to double my pawns here, which is not ideal, but the computer has decided that that's the best option. Because um, the pawn can push forward another step. It's protected by the bishop. He moves his knight. And just as I thought, I can push forward with, with, with a pawn. My bishop is protecting both the pawns. Uh, his rook is blunted. You can see my rook is nicely positioned, hemming his king in. I hadn't even thought about that, but the PC is thought so far ahead. Um, it's just got itself into a really good position. Okay, he's moved his knight. Again, his knight is being forced to the side, really. And I can continue the push forward. He's forced to take the pawn with the knight. And he loses a piece. So now I've got a big advantage, and really now it's just a matter of time before I uh, uh, destroy him. Well, he's got a check, but it uh, doesn't really mean anything. And now I can just block his rook in with, uh, with my pieces, with my extra piece. You see, all the time he's having to try and make open files for himself okay, what am I going to do I've got a, an easy take there and basically he's given up um, so let's exit that we'll thank him and uh, that's chess for you that's uh, computer chess, and that is progging at chess there. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching. Um, and that's basically sort of how you can tell uh, whether you're being cheated at, at chess. Uh, see you again soon. Bye.